Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some prep work for tomorrow. Today I'm allowing my past productive self to thank me. And here's how. Tomorrow, Mia's aunt is going to take her for the day and keep her. She's been telling me for about two weeks now that, listen, if you ever want to rest um, on the days where I'm off, I could take her. Just whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'm like, you know what? Absolutely. Absolutely take her. So what we have here is, let me show you all, Mia's little jacket. It's going to be her outfit for tomorrow. Her bib, her shoes, her socks, her beanie. And her little black and white outfit with obviously her little coat. And we have her bag packed with extra outfits, her teether toy, diaper cream, powder. Oh, there's that diaper cream, but I also put Vaseline. You know, uh, extra bibs, burp cloth, just all the extra stuff. A little blanket that her grandma made, had made wipes um i have a few toys in here for her and then out here in the kitchen she's sitting down looking at me honey you want to say hi say hi my love <laughs> sitting in her high chair looking she loves the idea of looking at herself i don't think she understands the concept of the camera because mom what is this and why are you holding it up i don't think she gets it anyways out here in the uh living room i went ahead and i prepped some food pouches for her with her little baby fruits and her rice cereal in there i have two of this in the fridge for her i went through and i packed some of her favorite crackers in these ziploc bags i really need to get some more reusable bags especially now reusable bags like this i mean silicone or usable bags especially now that i have mia so i can pack stuff for her in especially if this is going to be like a common theme with her aunt so um yeah and i went on amazon and i found some um some package of labels i don't know that they are reusable but also i could get reusable ones but also they're so very cheap like five dollars for like 350 where i could just peel them off and throw them away and it's completely fine so i have um the crackers i have the baby food the pouch the container fruits like this mixed in with her rice cereal already and then i have um this little, little teether snack for her that she really enjoys and then i have her bottle i think i'm gonna send one or two bottles in the morning i could wash one make a formula in it and send it and then i have this container here one two three four five six five 30 30 ounces of milk for the day a bottle here and there in between definitely could do that but i also could send an entire can of formula to be completely honest and um her aunt could like take from that like the can that we have open right now i could really just send that in the morning and that be that um so yeah i think i'll do that instead of um doing this because i don't want to limit her I want her to be able to have enough to feed her however she sees fit along with all the other things that I sent to feed her with. I'm kind of nervous because this is going to be the first time I'm just outside of her dad. This is going to be the first time I'm just handing her over to somebody else. Obviously, she's family and just, you know, tomorrow I'm definitely going to be running some personal errands that I have to run that I did not necessarily want to take her with me for mainly because one it's freezing cold outside too cold outside to take her with me and two it's gonna be like i'm gonna be on the road for a while so not only is it cold but i'm gonna be outside for a minute and i don't want to have to like take her with me outside for an extended period so that is the plan i just fed her four ounces of the same um fruits blend and her um rice cereal and then right now i think it's 4 50 i'm making some rice last night i made some um sausage and peppers so um i think i'm gonna give her a little bottle and we're gonna try and see if we can get a little bit of sleep i don't really know if she's going to if not that's completely fine and if she does then that works out too so i um, mean yeah, right now she's not hungry she's chilling and 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 you know she she likes that little finger hi mia jade <laughs> 
I'm very intentional about getting up and doing her hair, even though it's gonna look a little wild as the day progresses. It's okay, but I'm 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 I like what my kids look put together. So there's that. Anyways, I'll pick back up tomorrow and we're gonna share my thoughts when she's gone and everything. You know, see how I'm feeling. I don't really know, but yeah, I have work tonight. So because it's damn near five o'clock, we're gonna see if we can get some Z's. I have eight minutes left on this rice and I have it's nine minutes to five o'clock so I could really wait for it but also there's nothing that I'm waiting for tonight I'm gonna try and see if I can give her some sardines and rice because sardines are really good for babies I guess and um we'll see how that goes tomorrow I think I want to stop by this store too when I'm coming home to get her some more formula and fruit and and rice cereal and stuff like that so we're really gonna see how that works out I love you honey I love you <laughs> She's looking at his mouth. Love you. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. I just received a few of what seems like subscribe and save packages from Amazon, among other things that I bought for Mia. Oh, I bought this hair glue because I want to try it out on myself and on my wigs and see how I do. I don't really know. I hope it's not dried up. Today, her aunt asked um, to take her to give me a little bit of help. And when I tell you, I'm forever grateful. I really am. I've been sleeping since sometime after 10. And I woke up sometime after 2. It was 4 good hours and I feel so very good. And I can't even tell what happened, why I even ended up waking up. But I'm so grateful. Her aunt asked to wash her. It prompted me to get some little labels for her little stuff because i had to send um her little pouch foods with her bottles formula this that and i didn't have anything to label it with so these are like daycare labels for babies so i got some of these i had some things on subscribe and save and i forgot that i was getting these because i just bought some soap on tiktok shops vitamins this is a staple in my household, especially considering the fact that I do work at the hospital. And all the time, my throat just starts to feel groggy out of nowhere. And I need to take care of that before it turns into something serious like the flu or whatever. Because I literally cannot afford to be sick right now. I cannot afford to be out of work a couple of days because I'm sick. Hold on. Hello everyone. The last time you guys saw me, I was showing you that I got a few packages from Amazon. I'm not gonna lie, Mia's aunt did me a huge favor today taking her and this morning it was kind of sad when she was leaving and packing her up and shipping her off and I'm like, oh my baby, I miss her. But her aunt said that she has done really a little calendar syllabus course link. 6 p.m. is in 50 minutes. They're reminding me that I have a class in 15 minutes. But um her on to really i was packing her up to like ship her off and i'm like oh my baby but her aunt said that she's doing really really good i've texted her throughout she's been gone since 9 24 a.m it's 5 a.m okay and this really has worked out for me i mean last week i had to be in class and i had her here with me and everything but um it just has really worked out where the one day that her aunt is available and would love to take her or one or two days like Thursday and Friday is the day where I have class and just so much going on with work and my schedule and everything but um this was her this morning I brought her outside in her little car seat to to drop her oh, to drop her off to her aunt so cute and she's been gone since this was her little outfit her outfit is so stunning oh love her i miss her i'm not gonna lie i miss her but um yeah she her aunt has had her all day and i'm so very grateful because honestly i need the help and it's one thing about me i'm gonna take all the help that i can get they said you need a village and honestly at this point her aunt definitely is my village in terms of like family to help with her or to take her and stuff like that so i'm very grateful for that so i'm gonna hop onto my class here in like 10 or 15 minutes there was a video that they sent over and told us to watch for discussion this week and i'm now i did start watching the video before but i didn't get done so i'm now finishing up watching the video so that it could be fresh in my brain when i'm joining the class and so far the instructor has said that um she is gonna let us out by like 
8 o'clock. It's supposed to be from 6 to like 8.40. She said by 8 o'clock she's going to be like 7.45, 7.50. She's going to be wrapping it up to let us out, which is so great. So I don't know if her aunt wanted to bring her back by that time or to bring her home by the time her dad would typically get home from work. So, you know, we could have the transition there. I don't know. But either way, it works. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing here and then um, come back.